fresh homemade coconut milk. If you've only had pre-made, probably don't even know what you're missing out on. Grab yourself a mature coconut. Make sure the holes on top are well defined. If they flatten out, it might be going bad. You can also shake it to make sure there's water inside. You're gonna wanna give it a good whack with a hammer right between the eyes down this center line. You have to commit or else it might take a few. If you're worried about making a mess, keep a bowl underneath and cover it with a washcloth. That's the least amount of coconut water I've ever seen. It was pretty sweet though. I used to use a blunt butter knife to separate the meat from the shell. My mom got me a coconut tool and it's made things a lot easier. You just carefully slide between until you pop everything out. If you're having trouble, break the coconut down into smaller pieces. You're gonna fill up your blender with some hot water because it helps to make sure you get all the fat out and the coconut. So now you're gonna strain it. You might wanna give up early, but I promise your hard work will pay off. Get out every last drop you can. And I just keep it in the fridge. It stays fresh for about five days. I use it in my matcha, sometimes even as a snack with a little bit of cinnamon. But would you look at that, a perfect pour. I also use this in a lot of the ice cream recipes I've been sharing lately. So go check some of those out if you haven't.